Well, I'm back. What's up, family? I pray everybody's doing well. Um, you know, everybody that had a problem with that last video um, <laughs> emailed me and said, JT, you need to come do a public apology um, for some of the words you said, um, like punk ass. Um, you shouldn't have said that, you know, because I said punk ass doctrine of these you know, these punk pastors. Um, and I highly disagree with you. <laughs> Out of love. And if you didn't like that video, you definitely ain't gonna like this one. Because let me tell you something. Especially in the times we living in now. You need raw, uncut truth. Well, JT, you shouldn't have said that. It's better ways to get the word across than to using that type of language. First of all, let me tell you something. There's a difference between cussing and cursing. Don't you know the whole English language that we use come from the Anglo-Saxons? When you look at Britain and then it was converted over into Christianity. So when you start talking about foul language, what is foul language? Yahshua used harsh language. David used harsh language. Peter, when you <laughs> understand that the bloodline that Yahshua come from, oh, we talking about David. Who did he come under? Who did he come in? You talking about a man that shed his blood. A man of war. <laughs> Some of y'all starting to get the picture. Abraham, straight up gangster. Moses, these men were not cowards. They was not punks by long shot. So when you start talking about this, see this is where you separate the Hebrew from the Christian in so many ways. Because I keep trying to tell y'all, there is a certain way you're going to hear Certain things preach in Christianity. But when you start talking about the Hebrew language, Hebrew, it's different. So I would not apologize for what I said. When Yahshua called that woman the dog, or, or when he would holler out, you rude of vipers. You of your father the devil. Oh yeah, it gets worse than that. So, for y'all that, that can't stand the word punk ass, <laughs> and I'm going to say it again, these fools out here with these punk ass doctrines of devils philosophizing and seducing spirits. Let me hip you on to something. And I'm not angry at all. I keep telling y'all my page ain't for everybody. And I don't care who gets mad at this video either. Get on the list with everybody else. Paul said... I want to say that 2 Corinthians around chapter 11. He said, if they come preaching another Jesus that we have not preached, another spirit that ye have not received, another gospel, what do you think they're doing? Hollywood preaches that punk ass Jesus. I ain't talking about Yahshua. It's only a few people gonna understand this and agree with it. Hollywood lays out that water down the week, accept anything without repentance, forgiveness. Jesus. You better understand what Paul was saying. If they come, they already have many times. There are a lot of imitators. Another spirit, oh, how many spirits out here? See, some of y'all think I'm cursing. <laughs> but some of y'all know what I'm talking about. I wonder how many of y'all, let me, let me talk to the one that emailed me, JT, your language was... Y'all act like I just went straight off in that video. Let me let me let me ask y'all this: How many of y'all would have walked up to Yahshua and said that you sh you shouldn't be talking like that? I mean, you the savior. 
You shouldn't have called that woman a dog. You shouldn't have, you shouldn't have, don't use the term you brood of vipers. You shouldn't have went in that temple and, and pulled out that whip and cracked it out on the money changer. You, you could have done it a better way, Jesus. See, that's that punk ass stuff. Yahshua was not weak. He was meek. He was humble. And he had a side of him. Come on, man. We talking about, you talking about the almighty, the all. Yahuwah. He said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. So you should understand, ain't nothing weak and soft about our Savior. That's that mess they've been preaching for years, and especially Christianity. Because when, it start talking, when you start talking about the war side of the Holy Spirit, you lose folks a lot of times in Christianity. That's why a lot of people don't like to deal with the Old Testament. Well... What do you think the new is revolving from? So I would not apologize for nothing I said in that video because I was not cussing nobody out. And I stand boldly. Because it's messed up out here, y'all. And that's why I love y'all that ride on the page with me that understand who I am and what I am. And that I don't let folks dictate to me what to say and how to say it. And I'm not, I'm especially not up under no 501c3. You can't tell me what and what not to say. And if you don't like it, just simply don't look at it. And I still love you. But I guarantee you, I ain't going to lose no sleep because you didn't look at another one of my videos. And I still pray for you. There's people out here that love the raw truth. Whether you saying it in the calm way or raw way. So, you got the part for the ones who just, ooh, don't say that, when their mouth was twice as bad than probably anybody they knew growing up. See, that makes people mad. You should look at some of my older videos if you didn't like what I said in that. I could have went way raw than that. There is a time <laughs> and a season for everything under the heavens. These men in the Bible were men of war. How many men of war you know talk very polite? Just being real. Or when it comes to combat, you better guard your board. You better guard your butt. I'm coming to hunt you. I'm coming to shoot you. No. That's why I say understand who and what Yahshua is, where he come from. If you come up under the lineage of David, it shouldn't be nothing soft about you. If you understand everything I just said in this video, you'll give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down and still disagree with me. And I still love you. This world is turning worse and worse in front of us. And now some of y'all can focus on it. Oh, he said punk ass. And you got folks out here murdering. You got people out here committing suicide left and right. You got people out here raping folks. Did you get the message is what I want to know. And if you didn't, just simply one for you. But remember what Paul said, if they come preaching any other Jesus of any other kind, if you receive any other spirits, any other gospel, hmm, you know the rest. And that same Paul said, keep on reading. <laughs> Corinthians chapter 11, round verse 4, 5. He said, I may be a man, I'm just paraphrasing, I may be a man who don't Speak well, like y'all want me to, but I'm very knowledgeable, and that's me. I may not use the words your pastor use. I may not water it down like your bishop does, but guarantee you when I speak, it's going to be bold. And for those who, who have an ear, let them hear. That's not religious. Uh-oh, there it is. Go back to my old video. My page is not for religious people, really. It's not. It's not. 
and I love you enough to keep it real with you and tell you the truth. So, man, I'm going to say this once again. You're going to get mad when you look at the title to the religious folks. To hear what these punk-ass, prosperity, watered-down, Satan sent. These ain't pastors of the Holy Spirit. These ain't churches of the Holy Spirit. These are doctrines of devils, seducing spirits, punk-ass doctrines of devils. Like it or not. That's the truth. Shalom.